With the School of Mines, what we've been doing is once a year we sit down with a number of professors from the different disciplines at the School of Mines and visit with them about some of the real world problems that we have and see if they are compelled enough by our conversation to tackle those problems through senior design projects. We do something called project-based learning. And the project-based learning works best if you've got a real project. So when they get to go work with the folks at Black Hills Works, they have to go back and define the problem. So our students would come in and, and find out what the uh, need is for the project, and then they'd come back and start doing some brainstorming about how they're going to collect their data and go, go off and collect data and, and start analyzing it, um, continuing to go back and forth working and talking to the folks at Black Hills Works. There is a national contest called Ability One now, which was previously um, known as Niche Award, and uh, an all IE team. Uh, won that award one year for a, uh, designing a, a rather cute taping device for boxes at uh, Dakota Laser Tech. Uh, you could take their box and just shove the box through the device and it would be taped properly. My first year here we did a project for uh, window blind string tying. I think, I think that was a, a real concern at the workshop facility of being able to have the dexterity for some of the employees there to tie those knots in a consistent basis and it had been a problem going on for a while. And we had a couple of students who were pretty handy in the shop and had some ideas and we sort of brought them together and came up with a pretty unique device that would help that process along and so that was a, a fun thing and we ended up sending that to the Ability One competition and got an honorable mention out of that project. So. Uh, Dr. Matejczak and I advised a team um, that designed a string cutting device. This is for making window blinds. Um, and uh, it was a complicated task to do by hand. And so this was a automated system that was uh, basically push button. Uh, that one did win an honorable mention in uh, the niche competition. This past year, they we had three groups of senior design students working with our company. And two of the three senior design students groups chose to do a adjustable height table project. One focused on adjustable tables that could be raised via lever to higher or lower depending upon the needs of the person in that home. The other group tackled it from the perspective of work and developing accessible workstations. The final group this year <laughs> decided to tackle the problem of helping people with electric wheelchairs do their grocery shopping. So instead of having to go to the grocery store and get a shopping cart and push that shopping cart ahead of you or try to pull it along beside you, they actually designed a tray top that can withstand about the, a week's worth of groceries and baskets then that the person can put all of their groceries in. They can still ac access all of their items while they're in their wheelchair and when they get to the checkout counter then they're able to easily put those up on the conveyor belt and pack them up when they get onto the buses. So the groups of people helped us actually tackle three great problems this year um, with very realistic and creative solutions. There are uh, things that uh, just improve the quality of life and make tasks easier for those individuals. They do uh, learn a great deal on customer needs through the process and realizing that there, there is a, a range of uh, um, diversity out there that uh, uh, they need to design to in the future.